Hello and a warm welcome back to my little YouTube channel. Today we're going to be having a look at how we calculate the pH of mixtures. Now this relates only to strong acids and strong bases. So we can use the relationships pH is minus log to the base 10 of the H plus, pOH is minus log to the base 10 of the OH minus, and pH plus pOH equals 14. Using our background in moles, concentration is moles divided by volume. And for one-to-one -one reacting ratios, C1V1 is C2V2. We can use all of these pieces of, uh, all these tools in our toolkit to interrogate a question and come up with an answer. The pH of mixtures is uh, fairly frequently asked, uh, both on the A level and on the IB. So let's have a look about how we can actually solve one of these problems. First of all, we've got a 10 cm cubed of 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed. Don't forget big M is shorthand for moles per decimeter cubed. Sodium hydroxide with 25 cm cubed of 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed hydrochloric acid. We can see just from interrogating the question there are 15 cm cubed in excess of HCl. So this is going to be an acidic resulting mixture. If your answer is alkaline, you are wrong. Using C1V1, C2V2, we've got 0.1 as the concentration, 25 is the volume of the HCl, divided by the total volume, don't forget to add them together, 10 out of 25 is 35, which gives me 0.0714 mole per decimeter cubed of H+. Just be careful, if they're using sulfuric, you're going to need to double that, because there are two moles of protons for one mole of the acid. We do the same um, strategy for the hydroxide ion. We need to know the hydroxide ion concentration. 0.1 is the concentration. This time it's 10 cm cubed, but the total volume is still 35 cm cubed. Using C1V1, C2V2, we'll get an answer, which should be about half of that one, shouldn't it? 0.286 moles per decimeter cubed, shorthand M. I now have the moles of H+, plus. I have the moles of OH-. minus. The difference between the moles of each of those ions will be the amount of excess H+. Plus. The general equation for any neutralization, we all know, is H+, plus, plus OH- minus is H2O. That's normally a uh, energetically minus 57 kilojoules per mole. That's not the subject of this video, but you should know that anyway. So what's the difference between these? Well, we're going to have a look. The H plus is in excess. The hydroxide is limiting. That's going to determine an acidic resulting solution. To find out the excess H plus, take the difference between those two numerical values, which in this case is 0.0428M. So that's given me H+, plus, and we're home and dry. Now we have H+, plus. all we need to do is pH is minus log to the base 10 of the hydrogen ion concentration. Plug that into your calculator or into the Google search bar, as I've been doing today, and the pH of the resulting solution is 1.37. Sometimes on the IB and the A-level, um, what they do is give you a little gift question. This often throws students because they don't recognize that a gift has been given to them. This is one of those such questions. I suspect most of you will look and go, aha, 25 cm cubed of 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed sodium hydroxide with 25 cm cubed of 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed hydrochloric acid. Well, that's monobasic, that's monoprotic. It's the same volume, it's the same concentration. So surely that will form a neutral solution. Well, yes, they could ask you to work out the moles of each of the H plus and the OH minus. So as in response one, we're using the same method, C1V1, C2V2. Don't forget to divide by the total volume. So always add the two volumes together. It's worth looking at the strategy just for completion. Same neutralization equation, H plus OH minus makes H2O. What was that in uh, energetics? Yes, minus 57 kilojoules per mole. We've got 0 0.5 moles of each of the hydroxide and the H+. But we know that it's neutral and at neutrality at 298K, 
then Kw will tell us that the concentration of H plus and OH minus is going to be 1 by 10 to the minus 7. So we worked out the moles, we have deduced from our knowledge using Kw, and if it's 1 by 10 to the minus 7, pH is clearly 7. Uh, the final question today, what I suggest you do is have a look at the numbers, have a go yourself, pause the video, and then see what answer you come up with, and then you can check my answer and see if you got it correct. Uh, common errors in this are not adding the two volumes together, not recognising it's monoprotic or diprotic, and perhaps forgetting that we also, for uh, calculations, can use Kw for strong acids and strong bases, and we can also use pH plus pOH is 14. So, same strategy as the previous two. If you've paused and rejoined us, hope you got 0.1 times 50 over 75 for the total volume. For the OH minus, which makes 0.067 moles per decimeter cubed hydroxide. And then we're doing the same strategy for the proton. 0.1 times 25, because it was 25 cm cubed that was in the question, divided by the total volume, which is 75 cm cubed. I make 0.033 moles per decimeter cubed. That's great. Now we can see that the hydroxide this time is an excess. So if we get an acidic pH less than 7, we know that we are, yes, we are wrong. So OH minus is in excess by how much? Well, we're going to take the 0.067, take it away from the 0.033, that is a 3. And that gives an answer of 0.034 hydroxide in excess. So pOH is the same as pH, it's minus log to the base 10 of the OH minus, not log to the base 10 of the H plus. pH plus pOH is 14, remember that. So minus log to the base 10 of 0.034, putting in your calculator, I made that 1.46. Um, I only went to 3 sig fig, because that's all we've got in the data, which is going into the question. PH, POH is 14, so 14 from 1.46 gives us a PH for the final answer of, well done, 12.53.